All right, guys, have at it. Now, first, let me give you the scenario we're going after. In our imagined scenario, we have a front end impact with just a driver, and they need to handle both primary and secondary entrapment. So since we suspect we're going to have to do a dash lift, before we take that door, we're going to first get that front quarter panel out of the way to gain access to that front frame and our front hinges. As you can see, Anthony's going to work that door with the spreader. A note you notice, he is approaching that spread above the top hinge. That is a critical technique. The old way of going between the hinges is not recommended based on the new tensile strength of modern door hinges. Anthony is using the new Edraulic 3.0 555 spreader. And as Rick comes in to cut that hinge, Now, as a matter of safety, Eric Sanders is going to put some webbing around that door to control its movement upon removal while Anthony works to gain access to that nader pin. And as you can see in door removal, they got a lot of options. We could cut it off or spread it off. In this case, we start with a spreader to make that cut determination later. So as you see, Rick's going to resort to a nader cut with a with the uh, S789 hydraulic 3.0 cutter. And as you may have heard, every tool they are using in this demonstration is water tolerant. They can be used underwater, in water. You can change a battery in the water. Environmental durability is one of our primary objectives in the design. Now Rick's going to cut the front frame. Now why is he doing that? We obviously at this point need to execute a dash lift and Rick needs to separate the dash assembly from the front frame so that the lift will work properly. Now you're wondering, now why is Anthony pinching, pinching that A post? In many instances, a prep pinch makes it much easier to cut later on in the extrication. As you can see, this happens sometimes. These ultra high strength steel frames uh, after cut can cause a situation where you end up with cutter entrapment. So as they work together to free that cutter, and as you can see, a little, little muscle frees the cutter so that Rick can make his Lower A post cut in preparation for that dash lift. Now, we've all been taught that in uh, many dash lift scenarios or dash roll scenarios, you might use a ram in a dash roll or a spreader in a straight dash lift. You're going to notice a slightly different approach. Ultra high strength steel dash assemblies, in many cases, 
would dictate that a tandem operation is actually more effective using both the spreader and a ram. In this instance, we may cut the lower A only once because the ram will allow enough gap so that Anthony can put that spreader in there as you see him doing now. And as you can see, the methodology here, Rick is taking, I'm sorry, Eric is taking advantage of the tensile strength of the upper A to use it as a lever arm with the ram to help assist that dash lift with the spreader. And as you can see, the two tools combined make this operation much easier. All right, operation complete. Great, gentlemen.